Hi, my name is Dave DeZutti, Prepress Manager for the Printing Industries of America. I'd like to spend a little bit of time to discuss considerations when building tone reproduction curves in a computer-to-plate environment. Now, if you're like most printers, keeping color consistent throughout your press run is paramount in controlling internal costs along with customer satisfaction. Now the approach for building these tone reproduction curves starts with the type of plate that you're imaging. For instance, a negative working plate when imaged in its raw state, meaning there has been no tone curve applied to it, will typically yield approximately a 55% dot value at the 50%. If you're using a positive working plate in your computer to plate environment, typically your 50% is going to measure approximately a 48%. So when we compare the negative and positive plates, we're typically seeing a 7% difference in dot values just from the beginning. Now there are two approaches in building tone reproduction curves. The first is you can build the tone curves from the raw values that you're getting on your plate. The second is to linearize your plate, meaning a tone curve has been applied to make that dot measure what its intended value is on the plate. An example would be a 25 would measure a 25, a 50, a 50, and so on throughout the tone reproduction scale. One problem that you can encounter when building tone curves from a raw state is should your company entertain the thought of changing plate manufacturers, the probability of the dot values of the new plate as they're compared to the old plate matching is very slim. But if you're building a tone curve from a linear state, then all that's required when you swap plate manufacturers is that you build one tone curve to bring the new plate back to a linear state. And in so doing, you'll be able to salvage all the other curves that you've built previously. With today's prepress equipment, most RIPs and workflow systems enable the operator to build a tone reproduction curve on top of an existing curve. This is important because it enables us to be able to swap out plate manufacturers while still applying tone reproduction attributes to meet different print conditions. Of course, a plate control target should be imaged on every single plate, typically in the non-print area of the plate. This is to assure plate accuracy and consistency. Our tolerances for the measurements are plus or minus 1%, and we want to keep these tolerances this tight because we don't want to introduce more variance in the press room. So in closing, we understand it's important to have a plate control target imaged on every plate. Our tolerances in pre-press are plus or minus 1%, and it's important to work from a linear state when building tone reproduction curves for the press room. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.